Glad you guys could join me. Uh, I figured I'd do a quick TPM run uh, before heading off to work myself. So I uh, figured you guys might want to have a little get together. You'll not be at Vegas? Okay. Well, hopefully uh, hopefully the, the following expo. Is the con still on? That's, uh, have you heard any uh, stories with regard to the to the con uh scotty adair how you doing good morning all right i'm gonna go ahead and just uh, actually we'll just turn the battery on today so battery on not sure about dallas yeah well that's a pity you uh, you can't make it to vegas it's gonna be a good time if i survive it that is a few of us plan to meet up in Dallas. Oh, okay. Not a bad idea. I'm going to turn my sounds up a little bit here. Oh, master's on. Yeah, I won't. I won't be in. I won't be in in uh, in Dallas. Uh, so won't be able to catch up with you there. But AJ, it looks like that'd be great. Good morning to you. Hope the uh, new joystick is is working well. It'll be a good time. But I will need the money for real world flying. And also, Vegas won't be the same for me since I'm underage for ninety percent of Vegas. Yeah, that's true. That make, you make a good point. Although I probably won't be uh, doing too much. Of the table action, maybe I don't know. Good afternoon from very cold and windy UK. Good morning, Flossie. It's a work from home for you today. Nice, nice. All right, I'm gonna quickly turn this bad boy on since I'm on battery. So I'm going to turn uh, auto fuel selector on, uh, auto boost pump to on, ignition to on, and I'm gonna go ahead and kick the kick the starter. Quickly come down here and go to low idle. Let that get started. I think I might make a tradition out of... Uh, yeah, I couldn't sleep, B2. Good morning. I think I might make a tradition out of streaming on the first of the month, regardless of what day of the week it is. Early in the morning... I think I might give the monthly report. I could record it and then make it available later as well. If you fly tomorrow, you should fly in and out of Boston tomorrow evening. Tons of winds and rain predicted could be a fun challenge. Well, an IFR approach into Boston would be phenomenal. Really cool. All right, we'll just go up to high idle. Uh, on high idle, I'm going to go ahead and turn the ignition to auto. Boost pump. Oops, it's going to go to auto uh autopilot can come on good times in sandy utah thanks for 11 inches of fresh pow on sunday <laughs> yeah yeah good stuff up there in the mountains the resorts have been waiting for it steve they really have generators on main uh let's go ahead and turn on our landing lights pulse lights navs strobes the panel lights can come on dimmer cabin access light all that looks good um, I'm going to program up a destination here. B. Cutlers, good morning. Okay, so uh, let's click on... I think this pops out as well. Yeah, so this pops out as well. So we'll type in a flight plan. And uh, we'll go menu. And we will delete flight plan. And then... We can just do a direct to, and I'm going to change this to a little place called Salt Lake City. I wonder if I can do this. No, nope, I got to talk to Toto about that. The chapter doesn't 
work. But maybe because that's in the 2D pop-up. Okay, S. Almost there. There we go. KSLC. Going direct Salt Lake City, baby. Okay, we can change. We're going to get rid of the uh, that there. No. All right. Let's do this. Uh, oh, yeah. One more thing. I want to set flaps for takeoff. Make sure I raise those. All right. Here we go. We're at a small airport. It's actually a closed airport called Mount Pleasant. Doesn't exist anymore, but we're there anyway. Okay, torque coming up. Try to keep on the center line. Oops, don't over torque. There's 50 knots, 60 knots, 70, 80 rotate. Plane likes to pitch a little bit there. Snack air flight not started. Oh shoot! Try to fly with the left hand and start X F X X <laughs> FS economy. <gasps> that immersion ruined. Uh, on the east, maybe on the east, but the tongue is still the tongue is still on mountain. Yeah, exactly. All right, we're going to make a little turn out here. We'll go ahead and raise the gear. Raise up the flaps as well. Woo we're flying, uh, we're renting a plane from uh, Max Reverse today, so we're giving them a little bit of bank. Which is, it's good. We have good times with, uh, I'm going to call them our sister company. All right, let's come over here and uh, still hand flying the plane. I'll trim it up a little bit here. Start FS economy. Yeah, you did try. You did try. At least it yelled at me, right? Okay, so I'm going to uh, make this guy this guy a bit bigger here for you guys to see and the plane definitely has a tendency to, to pitch to the left here okay so I'm gonna hit the uh, autopilot I'm gonna hit the nav and then I'm gonna do uh, a new direct to activate that and that will get us on and then I'm going to set a I'm just gonna set a uh, altitude here so I'm going to select uh, we're flying westbound so we'll go up to, to let's go up to 10,000 now let's go up to 12,000 12,000 and then we'll do flight level change and we'll climb up at 186 knots Texas Flying Club blah, 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 blah. Texas Flying Club bought a TBM 850 nice it's a good plane. I like it. Yeah, we had over 1,400 flights in the month of February. I'm going to break down the March numbers, or sorry, the February numbers. We had over 1,400 flights completed in the Snack Air group in February. Absolutely amazing. Can we be at least stepsister company so any relations with them aren't so creepy sounding okay yes they're our stepsister company I'll, I'll do that yeah yeah and and if we if we do some PR work we may not get sued for our logo <laughs> all right so we're on our way to the Salt Lake City climbing up at 186 knots indicated ground speed of 213 Headed up to 12,000 feet. Let's see if we can get our terrain radar working here. All right, I need to work with Toto on the terrain because that's not working for me for some reason. The other things that are going on here, we got um, cabin. Pre oh, I gotta set the cabin pressure. 
LFE. So FMS LFE is set. Although we're not going to go high enough for it really to make a difference because of, you know, we're not. But we'll keep it nice and comfortable. We've got uh, left quantity 79, right quantity 83 for the fuel. And so what's so cool about this is I can make it really big for you guys to see. Electrical amps are in the green, 5 volts, 41 I don't know what the G and the B mean. What do you guys think that means? Oh, heart, sorry, those are amps. Those are both amps. This is volts down here. 28, 41 volts. 28.6 volts, B and E. I don't know what the B and E stand for either. Um, we've got inertial separators on, so we'll turn those off. And then uh, oil PSI in the green, oil temperature, ITT, NG, prop. All look good. really nice chaos dispenser generator and ba oh yeah that makes sense thank you chaos so yeah generator and battery that makes total sense thank you duh what about the b and e any idea on that i'm assuming it would be battery and generator but maybe it's just saying the electrical system volts maybe i don't know Ohms. <laughs> How you doing, uh, Chaos? Good to see you. Spiran, hello. CJF, hello. Stanky Woo, long time. Bob and Ed, could be. Could be Bob and Ed. Dream Reaper, good morning. Thanks for joining me, gentlemen. Some really nice terrain. Really nice terrain. Look at this. Look at that. Wow. Wow. I've never flown this route before. Ever. It's just absolutely gorgeous. It really is. Emergency battery? Could be. I'll go with Bob and Ed. Bob and Ed sounds good. Yeah. World War Two. What's a World War Two plane? This is a World War. Did they have G one thousands in World War Two? You're flying the TBM now from RNO to APA. Very nice. Did you get the new update, AJ? It does look like the real thing for sure. Absolutely. All right, we're at uh, twelve thousand. Uh, now we're just gonna watch our torque. Eighty-five percent torque. Uh, we can bump it up a little bit here. Let's see how fast we can get this guy going. What's really fun is when you get this TBM up at the flight levels. It really hauls. Got it this morning. Nice. All right, is there anything else I need to be working on? Probably could turn off the landing lights. I need to turn those back on for landing. Fuel selection on auto. Um, no de-ice needed right now. Cool, cool. So when I land, we'll go over the uh, we'll go over the uh, February numbers for snack air. Doggo doctor, good morning. I also need some. I need some coffee as well. I wonder if we should shoot the uh, visual or the RNAV or the ILS. So if I come in here and we do take the bezel up again. There we go. Uh, 16 left, 16 right, 1734 left, 34 right, RNAV GPS. Which one has an LPV? I want to do an LPV. I have the I have the hankering for an LPV. 
So probably the RNAV GPS 3.4. Let's do the RNAV GPS 3.5. I've never done that. Let's see. Does it have an LPV? No, it does not. So we're going to do 3.4 right. Does it have a... Wait. RNAV GPS 3.4 right. It does have an LPV. Okay, cool. All right, so we're going to choose ILS uh, RNAV GPS 3.4 right. So I'll scroll this down to RNAV 3.4 right GPS. I'll hit enter. Um, let's do vectors from Fairfield. Yeah, so we'll choose Fairfield. Right there. That's a pretty common waypoint for an arrival. All right. And then we're going to activate that. Okay, so we've activated the approach for the RNAV 34 right. Going to Salt Lake. Yep, going to Salt Lake City. It's going to be expensive to land there. I know. They're going to charge me like $235 landing fee. I hear you. So I guess the new ARAC also came out today, so I need to do an ARAC update. We're supposed to be at Fairfield. Well, we're supposed to be at Plague at 11000 so I'll go ahead and descend down to 11,000. So here, this little guy here is 12,000. We're going to take this altitude select and take it to 11,000. And then we're going to click on, and again, I can make this large as well. We're going to click on uh, flight level change. Actually, we'll click on vertical speed. So we'll click vertical speed. And we'll rotate this down up knob until we get to 600 feet. And then we're going to slowly descend. And because it's on altitude select, it'll stop at 11,000. So that's good. I have not tried the Tolis 319 yet, no. In fact, someone before I started the stream in the intro, someone was asking... I guess they had noticed that the Tolis 319 had just shown up on the org store out of nowhere. The Tolis 319 has been uh, has been streamed quite a bit on Twitch um, with the the beta testing uh, team, and uh, there's there's quite a number. Oh, we are over torquing. Uh, quite a number of people in in, in the Global Sim Alliance uh, Twitch stream team that have been testing the Tolis. I have not. I I'm 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 I haven't purchased it. I haven't been beta testing it. Um, I'll have to watch some vods and or YouTube videos or get your opinions either here live or on my Discord as to what I'm going to gain from it over, say, the Flight Factor 320. Now, granted, it's a 319. I know that, but really, what what's the if I'm gonna Airbus it? It's hard for me not to do the flight factor right now, but maybe you guys can tell me a few things that would would change my mind. I'd pay an extra hundred for this plane if it integrated the RXP 750 in on the middle display. <laughs> there you go. Well, AV 872. I, I correct me if I'm wrong. Anyone that knows, but the TBM, any TBM. I don't know if it, there are, are there any TBMs that come with a 750 in the real world. But yeah, it would it would be interesting to have a 750 option. Just for a fictional, a fictional situation. Leahy liquor, you. Uh, I would love to have an A321. So the A321, the only difference there is what? Probably um, a few more seats. Is it an engine difference? Yeah, Iowa. Yeah, I'm just keeping it real. I. I don't know. Maybe I'll get a review copy of it. Possibly. I don't know. It's longer. Okay. I think the Tolis are doing an A50. Now, an A50 would be very welcome. I I know we have an A350 now, but it's not, it's not been. Um, I think it's been. It's not complete yet. 
for lack of a better word. For a TBM, only the 850 or 700 would be possible. Okay, yeah. I mean, you could do a fictional dashboard with the GTM 750, but but then again, why? I mean, you got everything. Uh, no, I understand. The GTN is just kind of, it's just, it's just nice to have. It is really nice to have. All right, up here at Plague, I'm going to, well, let's go ahead and slow the plane down. I'm going to uh, hit the approach button. And let's see if if she intercepts the RNAV LPV profile. Although maybe I'll wait. Maybe I'll wait. Maybe I'll get down to 6,100. Yeah, let's do that. So I'm going to do a vertical speed down to 6,100. And then I will engage the LPV approach mode at, um, at the waypoint shovel way down the line. Let's see what happens there. Bring back that throttle because we are in, in a 900, 800 foot descent. Another flyby's in order. Oh, beautiful. Uh, one month subscription gets you two. Oh, it does get you two air racks. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, so you'd get this month and next month. Yeah. Here's the here's the air rack that I'm debating on. Right, I'm debating on updating the GTN 750 air rack. It'll cost me 150 dollars for one cycle only. And if I did it this week, I would have 18, what is it, 1804? I'd have 1804. And then my luck would be that the GTN trainer would come out with an update, you know, next month. But I'm very tempted to get the $150 AIRX cycle for the GTN 750. All right, what's she doing now? All right, she's coming down the mountain. This is my home valley. It's my home valley indeed. I golf I golf all over this land. <laughs> She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. What size hard drive did you get for all the ortho? I have sixteen terabytes. Two I have two eight terabyte hard drives. And then I have another three eight terabyte hard drives in a computer over there. <laughs> it's crazy. PC Pilot, nice to catch you live. Thank you for being here. Yeah, I think that... Um, I'm going to slow down. I th I'm going to go ahead and arm the approach mode as well. Uh, approach mode is armed. And I'm going to do, I think he said I could do approach flaps. Dang it, he said it last night what I could do it at. The TBM runs the G3000 setup. Also in the new IRL plane, all the controls except the autopilot or touchscreen. Oh, that would be so cool to fly in. I actually went into a TBM with a G3000 in Connecticut, in, in at Groton, Connecticut, in the real world. Uh, and... The plane wasn't turned on, but I was able to go inside. It was really cool. In fact, I have a, a small video of me doing that in the TBM 900. No, it was actually a, it was a 930. Yeah, it was a 930. Okay, flaps one. There's approach flaps. We're about to hit shovel. Uh, I'm assuming that this magenta here is our vertical profile. Yeah, it is. I'll leave that up there for a moment. OK. 
Okay, let's add a little bit of power here because we don't want to get too slow, but not too fast either. Okay, and the magenta line starting to drop. If you were going to look at a TBM, might as well shoot for the moon. Exactly. I can't wait until the A320 gets the updated air. Yeah, that's what I... Yeah, I'm with you. All right, there, it's captured the uh, LPV. Isn't that brilliant? Or can I confirm it's captured the LPV? Because it's saying... It says GP. I'm used to um, the GPS saying LPV, but it is does say glide path. I'm going to go ahead and go gear down. And I'm going to put in landing flaps. I think actually the landing flaps should have come lower. I apologize. I did it again. Landing flaps should not have come in until like 120 something. But okay, we're okay. We're on profile. Well, we're a bit above profile because of that flap difference, but that's okay. Okay, gears down, three green, cleared to land. Get your landing guesses in now, boys and girls. I love the NGX, Leahy. I haven't flown it for a while, but between the Zebo and the Fly Factor XP, yeah, XP's XP11, baby. In fact, I haven't been in the P3D pit for a while. I'm tempted to get that 747 to prepare for that 747-800. PTTNT's got 999 foot per minute. That's a good guess. Might win, actually. Al Smokin, good morning. Bernard's in at 131. All right, bring back the throttle. Landing flaps confirmed. Oh, crap. <laughs> LPV's working well. So it'll be nice to shoot this approach in nasty weather. I like it. It's taking me right down. That's cool. There's 88 knots. What would you guys land your TBM at? I'm going to land it at about 84, 85 if I can. Ah, uh, it's going to pick up because it keep, keep, keeps coming down. Hmm, pretty. Okay, autopilot off my airplane. Big, nice runway. Get down inside the touchdown zone. Was that my st stall warning? Uh, that's going to be maybe like 171, I'm guessing. Maybe that's 171. Oh, I need to use the gate to get it into beta. Uh, we can turn off here, actually. Actually, that's not a real turn off in the... We'll go up here. It's okay. It'll show the landing right here in a little bit. Can I transfer funds to you, John Flyer? Yeah, yeah you transfer them to Snack Air. Or if you want to, you can transfer them to Max Reverse. Mr. Gibbs, good morning. Mr. Gibbs, uh, I just gave you four, well, we rented your plane. And so you've got some rental income coming in for uh, November 1, Papa Romeo. So she's up, in, uh, she's up in Salt Lake now. So a little money for Max Reverse. The stall horn first chips as you get close to stall and then goes into a solid beep. 
when you stall. Okay. So when you're landing, you prop. Okay, so landing rate was 120. Who got closest to 120? Lots of airlines are loving you right now. Hogging the runway. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oops, I need to get this up there. I need to get this into beta. So let's do the lock. There's taxi range. You can see that graphic down below there. Battery and essential bus. Okay, so essential. So we we were going over the display earlier, and now we know it's not Bob and Ed. It's battery and essential. All right, so who PTTNT was closest with 999? All right, this URL not found, 128. was So he and I tied. Uh, so you had 112 and he had 128. So you both tied. Can we get a confirm on that? P3 Ron owns that plane two for one. P3 just sent a gift to a snack air for the minuses. Thank you, homie live. I appreciate that. Thank you for, for being here today. And, and thank you for checking the discord. And, uh, yeah, sometimes those jets, they, here's what kills you is the distance bonuses, right? So we, we'll, uh, when I park up here on the ramp, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Because there's some of the, some distance bonuses that are just ridiculous. So we'll go over the numbers for February. For February. Confirming on the tie. Okay. All right. Well, I've shown 85 people here this fine morning. So I'll give 85 snacks to both AJ and this URL. Oops. So almost rotation speed. All right. Let's get the gate down here. Confirmed. Addicted to flight sim. If you hide the FPL and bring up the electrical page, the B&E are the same voltages as, as are displayed on those two voltage gauges. Ah. Very nice. The other thing that it, we, we were talking about last night, gentlemen, is the uh, ECS info. Now, they're going to work on resizing this, but when you guys get this plane later on this year, this this is nerding nerding out information. OG Blue Pill, how you doing? Still okay to reposition a short distance? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Repositions, repositions are welcome. As long as, you know, within an hour or two, you have something profitable. <laughs> But some people are losing money. We have five or six people that have just not, done nothing but lost money, and 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 sometimes I I do wonder if it's almost um, intentional. Do you know how much money we've spent on PT six on our Jet A here, just taxiing in Salt Lake? It's been quite a number of going to grab some breakfast. All right, AJ. I think I can add you snacks when you're not here, but I can't get to the keyboard right now while I taxi. I'm I'm being I'm being immersive today. I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna hand the passengers off at the terminal. <laughs> Seeing Sweeney, the plane's looking very yeah, it's very nice. Yep, and there's gonna be some 3D model uh, improvements and yeah, but I'm going way too fast. Get it back into the taxi range. Not reverse though. Taxi range. Probably burned five. I know. I think. I think I did burn five gallons. Some people just fly in for no reason, lose money, lose your job. Yeah. In fact, you know what? I think there are going to be some people today that are removed from Snack Air live. But nothing personal against them. It's just business. There's approach flaps, takeoff flaps, flaps are up. Depending on altitude and temperature, high aisles between 30 and 40 gallons per hour. There you go. Well, it just so happens that these guys are going to get let off at the military side of the field. Because <laughs> I just don't have the patience right now. Another flight? I No, I can't do another flight. I, I'm, um, I really want to. Uh, I'm going to go over the snack uh, numbers for February 
uh, and then I'm going to head off to, to work. Go sell some homes in my real estate job that I don't have. Yeah, over here. Some military people that want to... Hot start. Get your hot start. <laughs>